Hello and welcome back. So today what we're going to be doing is looking at base locations on the lovely map of Namask. If you haven't played it or you haven't played it for a while and you're looking for general base location ideas then check this video out. Without further ado then, let's get into it. Alright, so the first base location we are situated is just outside this little city here. Uh, I'm going to get to the map in a second and show you where we are. But I've chose this little church right here. Now I've chose this church for a number of reasons and let's get into it. Alright, so when we're inside the church, um, we'll go outside in a sec, but there's normally a ton of zombies out there, which is good and bad. Obviously you might need to kill a few if you're building around here, but on the plus side you can have plenty of aggro if somebody comes to the base you're going to know about it. So you can see the base is built inside the little wall here. Now I like this base, you have got to be careful about cutting yourself with barbed wire. It is something I've done once or twice entering this base. But once you're inside, shut the door, and you have got obviously storage space. I've got a fire here, um, which I haven't lit, but yeah. So you can see the plenty of storage base, but as you move up the ladder as well, what I've done is you've got, a, you've got your own sort of watchtower. Now I like this, it's out of the way. Yes, when you're up here there's a chance you can get sniped around, I'm not saying you can't, but it's also an advantage point for you. If nobody knows where this base is and you can see people running across there, obviously it's up to you then decide whether you want to be silent or whether you want to take these people out. And yes, you have got plenty of storage around. So we've got a sea chest, we've got some crates. Yeah, so just general storage. Where are we on the map then? When I was doing the Namask locations, I found it quite difficult to look for locations. And what I figured was Namask to me isn't a map really where you want a base build. Um, to me, the more fun of it is trying to get in and trying to sort the event stuff out and go to all the secret places and go up towards the submarine, which is up here somewhere and all that sort of stuff, and then down to the oil rig or whatever it is. But that's the more fun that I get out of the server myself. I wouldn't necessarily use the server for uh, coming on and building bases and building a sort of home if you want them. I mean, it's not it's a small map as well So the likes of Chinaris and stuff, you know, it's not really one for base building But if it is your thing then obviously we've got these few ideas for you So why have I chose up here? So if you watch any of the previous videos, you know what I sort of look for on the map It's covered around with woods So you've got plenty of trees depending on how much you want to build. You've also got two wells in close proximity so if you scroll out a little bit, you've got a fire station up there which you can get some good gear, especially on the mask you'd be looking for uh, insulated gear, uh, the fire pants, the, tr the top or wherever you want it, the helmet, is all. I think it's the best insulation gear you can get, it's also waterproof I believe, so it's a good place to obviously get loot starting off, I mean you normally start off somewhere on the coast, around there somewhere you know, so yeah, to me it's a decent place to come, get some gear, well for water and a decent place to put a base. The other thing about that is you've got this little refugee camp here, which if I spawn to, let's use the other, let's use the other tools. So if I spawn to it, you can see there's some um, tents here, so obviously you're going to get military gear. I'm not going to go in too far around, I don't want to spend the whole video shooting zombies. But you get the point, so there is military gear then, which is not too far away, I mean what are we there from the church? We are 500 meters, so 542 meters away. You've got some tents where you can come. So you've got water, water source close by, some tents. And if we go back to the church itself, you can't walk in and out that door. You've got to crouch. You know, you have got zombies there. I'm going to get aggro in a second because there tends to be a few around. There's another one there. But I mean, once you've come in here to try and break through that door, yes, it's not impossible. No base to break into is impossible, but it's a neat little base. And I think it's one of them ones. If you weren't really looking for it. I mean, if I hadn't put barbed wire on there and you just had the fence, are you really going to notice it was there looped in? Probably would, but, you know, it's not going to be, it's not a standout base, not one of these big massive bases where they just stand out. So this is why I've gone for this as my first base location option idea. Um, again, what I would say is that you're probably not going to get a squad of people in here. I mean, probably one or two, three people maybe if you wanted to store some gear. It might just be used if, obviously, if you get in the gear in a PvP server and you're moving down south, it could just use this as somewhere to come up and drop some gear off. But guys, that's base location number one. Let's look into base location number two. Base location number two then. Where are we and why are we here? So we're actually in this little building here. 
Now I'm going to show you exactly where we are on the map. You know what, we're going to get to that first before I actually go into the building and show you what's in there. So we're actually way down south. Now, the reason I picked this location out is a lot of water around, you've got a lot of sea and fish in. Uh, you aren't close to a well, that is the only downside. I mean, you've got a lot of fish in, you get a lot of food. Well, not so much. You can go and get snow if you wanted to, but I mean, you would probably have to find a water source. But apart from that, you're in a decent location. You've got a few houses and stuff over there. So if we take a little run over. You have got a few bits of areas to loot. Um, you do get planks spawning there. You get a few bits and pieces. Um, I'm not going to go over and aggro all the zombies. But why have I chose this just on the outside? So the reason I've chose it is, as you, if you look around, you've got the fence, the barbed wire fence all the way around. Which means there is only one entrance and exit point to this fence, which is here. So I put a barbed wire fence there. Now, like always, I like to put like a little sort of base inside to show you. So I put another wall. You can add barbed wire across the bottom there if you wanted to. I chose not to. But we've got another wall. That's also another source of protection. Um, we've got a tent there. That obviously, we can go in and have a look around if you want. Uh, so <laughs> have a look around. <laughs> yeah, sure, Chris. Yeah, you can go in and obviously store some kit. If we open this... Obviously, we're inside another bit. Yes, if they found a way to jump over this fence, these gates become that void, but that's the way it is with bases. You're always going to find somebody that can come in. So, inside, again, I've got another fire barrel there. Fire, obviously, for everybody that's played in the Malsk, it's important. I would always recommend being somewhere put a fire. Be careful, though, once you light that fire, you're going to draw unwanted attention. So, in here, I've put a couple of crates. This one, you have got to crouch down to access, but I put a couple of crates in here, a sea chest. Um, another crate in the corner. You could probably put another barrel or two in here. There wouldn't be enough room to run around, but it is enough room to use a storage. And these gates, you can quite easily maneuver them in and out. So again, with others, bases I've done, you've got trees all around. The only thing this is missing compared to other bases is a well source. Um, that's just something you might have to work out for yourselves, but it's an option for you, especially if you're further south and want to use something as just, like I said, with the last base was a bit of storage. Um, I've not put a base in there before myself, to be honest, but um, I quite liked it. It's quite unique, quite small, and yeah, I quite liked it. But anyway, without further ado, guys, let's go on to base location number three. Base location number three then, where are we? Well, you can probably see a tent on top of that building there, and I'm going to run up a sec and show you why I've chose up there. So there are a couple of ways up. You can go up the ladders there and work your way around, or you can go this way. Now the reason I've chose this spot right at the top is that it's quite easy to defend, and you could also, if you want to do, put gates on the way up here. I've not chose to do that. You can put another gate there. You also get things like barrels and stuff that spawn in. You could put another gate there if you wanted to. Obviously, some of these gates would depend on if you're playing on a modded server. If you're playing on a normal server, you may not be able to. But as you come up here, you have got to angle this gate at a slight angle. The reason being is you've got to be right in the corner when you open it. But open the gate, shut the gate. There is only one entrance then, in and out. That's that way. We've got a fire barrel here. We've got some storage. We've got some barrels, some sea chests, and all that sort of stuff. If you come outside, yes, you've got to be aware of being sniped. Obviously, if you put in tents up here, like I've done, people are going to be aware there's a base there. You don't have to put tents, I just put them there for visual effect. But I mean, if you wanted to put a couple of small crates dotted around, they might be difficult to see from a distance. But especially the likes of you've got the tower in the building up there, you've got the crane, you know, you've, you've got plenty of areas on this roof where you can get sniped. So I would err on the side of caution around spending too much time out and about, if you want to put it that way. You do also get things like weapon spawns up here, you've got a Moors in there, you've got a few other bits and pieces. I've had um, a bayonet spawn here since I was doing the since I was doing the video. But yeah, you get a few other bits and pieces. Once you come in and shut this door, obviously no one's gonna snipe you now, you're inside, and you're back down the ladder. Again, you can shut this gate quite comfortably, you've just got to be in the corner, and then you're back down. So where are we on the map? So on the map, we're on the east side and we're on Tara Harbour. What we've got around Tara Harbour, again we've got fishing, plenty of food, and you've got these two, which are big hospitals. 
getting across the Tarbahara can be quite tricky. Obviously you've got the two bridges, which sometimes you've got to fight your way across unless you decide to maybe take a swim. If you want to take a swim, obviously that's up to you. Again, I would highly recommend getting a fire on the other side to ensure that you are fully covered and get your clothes dry as quick as possible. You've got a sawmill down here. What else spawns down here? I've noticed as well since running around just cars. Uh, I've seen a Gunter spawn down there, which isn't too far away. But guys, yeah, that's base location number three. So let me know what you think. It's small. It's, um, oh, <laughs> just wedged myself in. Lucky enough I've gone through. Yeah, so it's small, it's neat. And I think it does a good job. Again, it's something I would probably use as a drop-off point. I've only put these tents there just to show that you can put big tents in if you wanted to. I mean, if you were on something like a PvE server, where sniping, etc. wasn't an issue, then you could put a few tents in. There's quite a bit of storage. Let me know what you think as well. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I mean, if you think these bases are shite, let me know. If you think they're good, then obviously let me know. Again, I'm going to reiterate, I wouldn't necessarily base build on the mask. Uh, it's not something I would probably do. I prefer just to run around the map and live Live with the elements obviously go into the building stuff when the storm comes But I wouldn't necessarily base build but I mean some people do and if you like the PvE server That's great. And I mean this is a good option for you Okay, let's check out the next one. So base location number four then. Where are we? What have I done? Etc. So what I've done is built in this building here So I'm gonna go in a sec and show you where we are and all that sort of stuff where we are on the map so let's just go in. So as, as you can see, I like to put a few crates in for visual effect. Now these fences are in to pretty much block up windows. You don't have to put them there if you don't want to. Again, depending on what server you're on, I've put them there to stop getting sniped when you're inside. Uh, you've got a fire barrel there. You've got obviously some storage and some bits and pieces. I did try putting a small tent in here. One of the ones that was in the, not the, obviously the big green ones, but the small ones. It does go in, but you can't walk around anywhere. So it, it pretty much takes up, it has to go in the middle of the floor, and it pretty much takes up all your walking around space. I probably wouldn't recommend putting a small tent in there. But again, that's optional to yourself. If you want a small tent and you want to put it in there, then you crack on and you do you. But it would limit a lot of your, um, a lot of your uh, storage. So where are we? Again, we're up north of this one. So obviously we've had the church, uh, where's the church, there's the church, this time we're down a bit further south. So with here, why have I chose this location? Again, you've got fishing, you've got food. Not only that, you've got a well just further north, it's not that far away, and you've obviously got these few military towers and stuff, and you've got a few military buildings around the bridge that goes down south. So that's the reason I've chose this location. You've also got this little military zone up here, I mean I spawned in the other day when I was playing around, I think. I ended up in here, maybe not, no I did, I did, yeah I ended up in there, um, it's not loads of loot, but there was enough to grab a gun and some bit of ammo, <laughs> thinking about it I don't think I had the right ammo for the right gun, but <laughs> you might be more lucky for, than me, but yeah there is a few bits and pieces there you can go, and obviously it's a perfect gateway to go south as well, I mean right there, you're straight down south, what I would say is with this base it isn't really discreet, why am I doing the old rocking head? So it's not really discreet, um, yeah, people are going to know you're there. These buildings as well spawn things like shovels, sledgehammers, pickaxes, so I don't think it'd be too easy, uh, too hard, sorry, for them to break in. But again, it's an option for you, it's a bit bigger than the last one, so you could get more storage in here, especially if you, had, if you built more crates, I mean, you could stack them on top of each other, barrels, etc. These buildings do also spawn barrels. So that might be something for you to do as well. It might be good. There's something in there now. So I'll look down what's there. There we are. Okay, so we've got metal plate. We've also got barbed wire, etc. So there is bits, hard helmet. So there's bits, like you said, bits of building that will spawn around these locations if you want to. I'm going to be honest. Yes, I used the admin tools to spawn the equipment in when I was building the bases because I was only doing it for visual effect. But I think, if I remember rightly, there was 10 sheet metal here as well when I came here. So, yes, I had to spawn more in to fill up the rest, but you do sort of get that stuff around as well. Okay, so without further ado, what we're going to do now is we're just going to crack on with the last one. We're flying through this video. I don't want to make it a long, drawn-out video. So the last one then, let's go. All right, so we're at this tower. The last one, obviously, it's a tower you can't climb. Well, it's a tower I haven't tried climbing. 
You've got a watchtower on as well. I mean, if you wanted to, you could put like a watchtower base around that and create your own little sort of watchtower where you can snipe. Obviously, you have got a water source down there. Where are we on the map then? Again, we're up north. We were quite limited to bases down south. I mean, we had the one in Tara Harbour and we had the one um, right down south in the little building. But apart from that, we're back up north. Now, we're not too far away from the church. Uh, the church is there. So we're not too far away. We have got water sources. We've got one there. We've got one there as well, depending on, obviously, um, if, there's a, if there's other people around. We've also got fishing. We've also got this pond down here, which you can see from... Ooh, creeping the mass music is off, which you can see there. So you have got places, decent places for water sources. Obviously, you can see you're quite close to the city there, or a village, or whatever way you want to call that. But you're quite close to um, to buildings where you can get loot, etc. And you can make your way down south. You've got a hunting tower which will spawn stuff in. I'm not sure if there's anything up there at the minute. But there's a hunting knife. So let's just jump down. Where's the base? You say. You may not say, but I say. So the base is here. So you can shut these doors for a start. Um, the base is inside the shed complex. Again, I was looking for something small. Oh, and obviously I'm cutting myself on the barbed wire. So that's something that you'll have to um, be wary of. But the shed is small. So you can open it without cutting yourself. It was just me not concentrating. And obviously I've taken the stuff off the bottom just to make the vid video a bit better as well. So when you come inside, what's, what's the room for? We've got a fire barrel. Sorry, this side. We've got storage, we've got crates, and we've got a sea chest. So again, nice and small, and again, easy to shut up. Like I said, just be careful. You can cut yourself, especially if you're not concentrating. You can see the bottom thing on the left-hand side there where I've um, where I feel myself. What I like about the mask, I don't know if you've seen the community posts I put up the other day, but some of the views around here are really, really nice. I mean, I can spend time just looking around and enjoy the map. And it's a map, to be honest, I haven't played a great deal on, especially recently. I played a bit when it came out. But it's a, it's a map since I decided to do this video. I've sort of spent two or three weeks just building a few little bases because I've spent a lot of time just running around, especially with the admin tools. I've got to, I've got to spend a lot of time spawning about as well. So my plan is now, after this video has gone out, is to suicide, delete all the bases, and then I'm just gonna have a general run around. I might open it up to the public and just have a general run around and see what see what see what fun we can have on the mask. But I wanted to get these bases done first. If you've watched the video up to this point, obviously hopefully you've like hopefully you've enjoyed it. Hit the like button, hit the sub button and all that stuff. Show some love. But yeah, apart from that, um, the next video I'm gonna be working on is gonna be another base location and it's probably gonna be on Valnin. Uh, that's something I haven't even started looking into yet, so it's not gonna go soon. But yeah, without further ado guys, thanks for watching and I shall catch you later.